Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another ramble. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit more about the blood letter bow or the blood letter ballista or the blood letter fucking ninja stars, whatever they're going to be called. I don't know yet, but I want to foster just a little bit more discussion on it. So before you guys are like, it's already decided. Jagex has already decided what they're going to do. It's probably true. They, they probably already internally decided they're not going to do shit, but they just want to give us the illusion of some sort of feedback. Anyway, no, I know that's a bit conspiratory, but that's not actually what's happening, I hope. Anyway, so I want to talk about that, but first drop a like on the video if you enjoy it, if you enjoy the video, and also subscribe if you guys have not already. I will be making rambles about twice a week, so if you want to stay up to date with random updates that are coming out and the winter summits coming out next month i want to talk a lot about that maybe offer some predictions in a little bit um in like a, a i don't know like a few rambles from now also be sure to subscribe because we are getting alkin yes alkin the guy that just got 200 mil slayer on his hardcore iron man that guy yeah he is going to be on the say cast this upcoming tuesday for you guys it'll be wednesday and the following week, we'll actually be having skill specs on the cast. So just absolutely two phenomenal guests. Super excited. That wraps up year two of the Sebe cast. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for it. So be sure to subscribe. Also down in the description, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. All right, enough with the sellout shit. Let's move on. So before we get into it, I just want to briefly show what I got. Let's show it. All right. We got Zebo. Okay, so... Anyway, um, let me pull this up real quick. So, this is a screenshot of me like a couple weeks ago. I got my fourth Mystic piece. So, we are literally one log slot away from full Slayer collection log completed. There's 73 slots in that Slayer log. And uh, I'm about to do it. I just need the Mystic hat. So, that's really exciting. Then... We got Ella Dennis Ward, but, 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 if you look closely in the chat, you'll see I got something else alongside of it. So this is a couple days ago. I got Tumakin's Guardian and Ella Dennis Ward, both two brand new uniques that I needed, and we got it in the same fucking chest. It was absolutely incredible. So we were working on some of the remnants. I got the remnant of Zebek, and we're still missing the other three. So I just wanted to show that. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is honestly like, he's like a little flat boy. He gets a little glitched when he's down there, but for the most part, he's a pretty cool looking pet. He's a two by two, and uh, as you guys see, when you metamorphosize it, it um, has all the options. I have one, two, three, four, five. So you get these damaged guardians, I believe, just in a 450 and just pump up your wardens. Uh, so I do have all these, and th I mean, this one's just fucking badass. This looks like Yu-Gi-Oh meets Dark Souls meets fucking... I don't even know, but it's so dope. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this pet. And it's my first ever Raids Dusted pet. I guess Dusted, remnant, Remnanted, whatever. Still missing Omelet. Got the T.O.B. pet. Uh, two of them, but I don't have the dust for that. So, like, this is, like, my first true, like, met, you know, just S-tier pet, which I'm really excited about. So, let's get into it now. I'm going to pull up this blog... And we're going to be using this scene. So if you guys are bothered by this full cam scene, I'm sorry. We're going to be uh, taking a look at it. This might be a little... I don't know. I don't know what to do. If you guys don't like this, just fucking yell at me in the comments. Okay, so we're not going to cover this because I already covered it in the previous ramble. Go check that out if you haven't already. But they are offering the community the decision to make the blood letter bow... A, where's the question at? It's This is just, there's just so much going on here. Uh, keep it as a bow. So this is what they're offering. Keep it as a bow. Change it to a thrown weapon or change it to a fucking ballista. So I want to share a few of my thoughts. And well, I already shared a little bit of them. I'm not really too obsessed with any of the options. In fact, I think all three could work really graciously. So I have a little notepad here. And I want to, I, I wrote down a few things this morning before I started this recording. And I, you know what, I I gotta shout out this guy, because this guy actually was the one that brought it up. Zachary Baxter from the YouTube comments. Zachary Baxter, I don't have it pulled up on the desktop, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at it on my phone. He said, blood letter dark bow. Give some use to that weapon and make the 90 Slayer grind worth it. You know what, I thought about that. When he said dark bow, give the fucking dark bow some love. 
listen, the dark bow is already a weapon that shoots two arrows. You know what I mean? Like, that thing shoots two arrows. It shoots the same target, unfortunately. The two arrows is kind of pointless. But it already has that sort of component. So I was thinking, hey, what if this new bow does require, you know, if you're an Iron Man, you have to have 90 Slayer. If you're a main, you just buy a dark bow. Um, and then th it kind of attaches to the dark bow, and now it shoots three arrows out. You know what I mean? And it can be charged with the essence. It can shoot three different targets. Maybe they bounce. I prefer... I think the only bouncing mechanic that really makes sense is if it's a thrown weapon, similar to like rune throw knives. I, I have my idea in a second. I'll share it with you guys. Um, but seriously, what if there was a dark bow that shot out three arrows? Now, of course, this upgrade would speed up the dark bow. I don't want it to stay as like a fucking seven or eight tick bow. It should be, a th in my personal opinion, it should be three tick. I'm not going to start yelling about that all ramble long, but I really do think it should be three tick. If it's four tick, whatever. But seriously, think about that, guys. Consider it. I'm not again this i'm not just like we need this i want to offer some suggestions and if you guys have any more leave them down in the comments so i think that's brilliant i think uh, there's a lot of potential with that now i'm a huge fan of the ballista shotgun idea as you guys probably already knew the ballista shotgun so it's a three tick ballista shoots out three javelins you know what i mean you're just like balling out of control, just launching stuff. Now, you got to keep in mind, this ballista would al would almost definitely have to have negative strength if it was three tick, because javelins do have crazy high range strength, I believe. So they'd have to tone that back or have some sort of thing where maybe it's not negative range strength, but just saying like 100% um, of the damage that the javelin would have done is split up in between three targets or something like that that makes it balanced. I really want a weapon like that that's just like explosive. So it's almost like a chin chomp, except this would actually be, it would have, it would offer more utility because it would still keep the same mechanics of if a target's two tiles away, it could still hit it. You know what I mean? So obviously it's random. I don't know how the whole uh, like mechanics work with the, but I don't know what, when it prioritizes shooting another target or the same target or whatever. But I really do think that is a cool idea. It would rejuvenate the Javelin meta, Ballista meta. It could offer some potential weapons in, even in the future, years from now, that are more Ballista-based. And it's two-handed. It's just a fucking tank just launching these things. Also, I really do think if this were to come out, even if it doesn't come out, I really do think Javelin should be affected by the Accumulator effect or the Assembler effect. Uh, I just think, I mean, why not? The Accumulator already is the most medieval fantasy, not even medieval, it's just this weird magical item that just randomly gathers your arrows and darts and bolts, and it really doesn't make much sense. So Javelins, if that doesn't make sense to you, then I'm, I'm confused. Anyway, so I really do think Javelins should have that ammo saving effect. Let me know what you guys think about it, especially if it were to be shooting three Javelins at once. Now, I want to talk about the blood letter throne stars yeah i'm talking about those ninja stars you know like uh those kids in middle school that would like carry literal weapons by the way i remember i had like some naruto uh friends in middle school that would wear like the little Nar I, <laughs> I don't even know what it is little metal plate on the forehead i had a friend his name was thomas he would literally bring real life throne stars at uh throwing stars or whatever they're called uh, to school and i mean jesus christ now that i think about it like fuck that guy was gonna hurt somebody anyway that's besides the point blood letter throne stars now think about this you want something that bounces and before you're like oh ninjas aren't in runescape ninjas are what like what are you talking about uh, like a ninjas in runescape what does that even we already do have ninjas in runescape they're called ninja implings and ninja implings are the worst fucking implings i hate them they are so crappy the only thing that's good from them is the one in 25 hard clue rate but other than that their loot is dog shit now think about this expanding on the lore if they really did come out with these ninja throwing stars that bounce off of other targets and potentially cause some serious mayhem um they could also be given uh, a little bit of exclusivity with ninja implings. It could expand on the lore and say, like, ninja implings now can give those phantom essence. And it, you know, or something like that where, like, ninja implings now get a little minor buff that you could 
you know, you don't need to farm the boss for Phantom Essence. You can now just get it kind of from Ninja Implings here and there. Obviously, that wouldn't be the best way to farm. Well, maybe it's the best way to farm it. I don't know. All I'm saying is it would be cool to have little throne stars. And I think um, Jagex was mentioning, well, at least Mod Aiza in the last Q&A uh, yesterday was talking about this idea that whatever the weapon really is, it will just be like a, it will just be an item. It's not going to be like a stack of items. It's not going to be like you're throwing javelins or whatever. Um, it, it'll be like an item that's an item and it'll be charged with phantom essence and those will be the charges. So it's not like you're just having to gather up a bunch of these ninja stars. It's just like one ninja star that has like a certain amount of charges. You know what I mean? Anyway, so three different ideas, throwing stars, throwing stars, throwing stars. I don't fucking know what I'm even saying, but, um, that is a cool idea. I think personally. And it could have the accumulator effect as well, whatever the hell they're planning on doing with the charges. And I think there's some serious potential with that. Plus, you could have an offhand, you could have the buckler. If you have a bow, uh, I really do think a dark bow attachment would be fucking sick. I'm a huge fan of that. Speed it up, of course. Make it shoot three arrows out. Or the javelin um, ballista idea. So, anyway, I just wanted to share a few ideas. As always... Go down in the comments, read what other people are saying, uh, engage with some other people, figure out what you want. I would love to hear from you guys. What do you want from the whole blood letter uh, thingy? Is this thing still on here? I meant to close out of that, whatever. You guys need to see my water bottle. By the way, some of you keep saying this water bottle is going to tip. I swear to God, this will never fall off the table, I promise, guys. Anyway, so... Uh, that's it for me. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really have much else. So I will be going live in the next like 10 ish minutes. So if you guys want to catch me on Twitch, I will be hunting those remnants, uh, which are, where's my little, oh, it's the fucking tiny screen, whatever. Um, so I will be hunting the last three remnants. I'll be doing some duo TOAs with Scott and yeah, that's it for me guys. Peace out. Have a great day.